everyone, Mr. Market Chair, and today I'm going to show you how to implement Steam's Open ID API into your website so you can allow users to log into your website using their Steam account. Now your site doesn't handle the username and passwords, that's the whole point of using like Steam's uh, API for that. Um, so people have a bit of trouble with implementing this in, but it's actually quite easy. So I thought I'd just make a quick video about it because I know a lot of people want to see this sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we might as well go ahead and start. So what I've got here is just a basic little design. Now I'm not going to show you HTML or anything on how to make this site because that's not the point of this video, but the whole point is you should have a site sort of like this that you want to implement into. And you see we've got the basic navigation bar and you'd have your login over here somewhere or anywhere on your site for that matter. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, what we want to do is when we click that, I have it set up to a, um, a modal so this will pop up. And what we're going to do is uh, put a little button somewhere down here, which will be the Steam login button, and which will take us over to Steam. So we need to put that there, and we we'll, and that will take us in. And then once we're in, what we want to do is where it says login. If we are logged in, we want to replace that and make it display uh, the logged in Steam account's avatar and username. And we also will make it have a little drop down tab so we can log out and check a few other options. And so that's what we're basically going to be doing. So what you want to do first of all is head over to this GitHub link and uh, download uh, this um, project files here. Basically we don't need the other stuff. All we really want is the Steam or folder because that's what we need for this. Um, so I'll leave this link for this in the description. And once you've downloaded that, what you want to do is open it up and we're just literally going to copy that Steam or folder and we want to put it into our project folder or your project folder in this case so these other files you can completely ignore because they're just um, to make the website look how or my website look how it does you will not need uh, those files so now we can just shut that um, and I've saved the index file as a PHP file because we're going to be putting some PHP within this file um, although there's no PHP in there yet, it still works within within it, but yeah, you you want to save it as PHP. So now we've got our Steam or, Steam or folder put in here. We want to go in there and we quickly need to change a few things. So first of all, we just want to go in the Steam config file, right click and edit that. So you see here, there's a few things that we need to change and it's these four settings here. Um, so the API key is unique to you so you need to go over to this link here and once you go over to that you'll input your domain and make sure you get it right. Um, it doesn't have to be um, the I've got it in see a YouTube directory but you just need the main domain like so and you'll input that and then Steam will generate you an API key and I have mine right here. So once you've got that API key, you literally just want to paste it in there within the um, speech marks and that's that one done. Now for the domain name, you just need to copy your domain name from the main the main part, not the directory, if you have it in a directory, but you shouldn't have. And you just want to paste that in there. And if you didn't paste it, you need the HTTP because for some reason if you don't, it doesn't want to work. So uh, you want it with the HTTP if you didn't put that. So, and you want the another forward slash at the end of the link also. So once you've got that, we need the logout page and the login page. Now this is completely up to you because when a user logs in, you might want to take them to like a welcome page or an information page. And you'll put that here, but for the purpose of this, I'm just going to do index.php and take us to our main page. And for the logout, I'm just going to do the same thing. But this is where you would um, put custom pages if you wanted to do that. So now we've um, set up that, we can just save that file and close it off because we no longer need it. And now what we want to do is just go into our index page and start doing some things. So first of all, uh, we want to go above the HTML code and uh, start some PHP coding off in here. And what we want to do is we just want to require and include a file within this one so we can use it. And we just require uh, we can use the steam or folder forward slash and we want to use the steam or file out of that folder 
and you'll go in here and you'll see we just want to use this file because it just contains a bunch of stuff um, if I open it up but specifically we want the login button function so we can echo the button onto our website and start the login so we want to require that and then what we want to do is check if we have set the Steam ID so we can basically check if the user logged in pretty much so once we do log in um, like sort of a, in the session a, something we set called the Steam ID and we can use that to check if the user has logged in or not and that's important because let's say you have pages like that you don't want people to access if they're not logged in that is what we do so uh, we can use if if it's set is set and we want a session all in caps and then what we want to check for is the steam ID like that and then if that is uh, if that is set then they're logged in else if not they're not logged in so we don't really want to do anything but if you wanted to you could direct them to a different page or start like whatever you're you got the options for yourself so I'm just going to comment it out and just say not logged in because we don't really need to do to do much but if they are logged in um, you can just create something called an ID and make that equal to the uh, session uh, session steam ID and that is not really part of the login process but you will need it because uh, the IDs are very important for the steam website because if they log in uh, you want to use their ID to identify the person and you could use this ID now to check a database for their details and stuff like that so that is pretty important to have so I thought I'd chuck that in so that's just checking if they're logged in this wasn't really necessary um, for the login part but it's necessary for your website after you've done that so now what we want to do is go ahead and actually do the login process so uh, there's one thing I did forget if they are logged in we want to include or require we could just require it here but actually we'll just go ahead and do it we'll require it here um, we want to require one more file and it's in the steam or folder again and this time it is user capital I info dot PHP and that will enable you to grab things about the user so things like their name their avatar um, so you could require this if they're logged in um, but I'll just leave it there for now uh, so what we want to do is go down and you this is where I have the login side of things um, you'll see in my notepad I copied the other part of the website which will be the drop down tab if they are logged in so we're going to be using that um, we only want to display this login if uh, they're not if their session isn't set so hopefully you can understand that so we go down here and we can put some PHP code in and just say if uh, is set basically the same code um, session and then steam ID uh, we will have the open bracket here if it's set what we want to do is the code in my notepad if, it, if uh, we just want it here close the bracket else open the bracket and then that's where we'll display the login because obviously they're not logged in and we just want to close the bracket off like that and you see if I click that it's highlighted that one if I click that it's highlighted that one so although the code isn't in one set of PHP tags it still will work throughout so I'll quickly grab this code here and paste that if they are if the user is logged in and let me just clean that up a little bit uh, like so and you'll see I've got the option um, you'll see I've got the image source or image class um, and this is where I want to put the URL of the steam the logged in steam image instead of put in like a link here like you usually would do like HTTP and it or you'll just have like images image.png there what we're going to use is a bit of PHP code so we'll just put the PHP tags and then we can use uh, steam profile uh, this is coming from one of the requirements that we included so we'll use steam profile 
and then what we just type here is avatar and that will get uh, our avatar now there is a whole page of steam documentation and you can have like different size avatars and things like that I'll also leave a link for that in the description if you want to check that out as well but right here we just want the steam profile and then the avatar and you see here I've left the steam name and this is where we do that so for that well, again we can use steam profile and then this time we'll just use uh, uh, sonar name and I didn't actually put that within a PHP tag so let's quickly go and do that and there we are so that should be setting us an image up and the name if we are logged in so now we've done that we actually need to just go ahead and put the login here in my modal if you're not using that and like I said this is this pop up you'll just put what I'm about to do here right where this says login up there so it's not a big deal you'd put it um, on this this one here this line here and um, so I just want to go down here and all I want to do is uh, use some PHP code and I want to uh, echo this function here which is the login button so echo login button like so and that should display that for me and then uh, there's one more thing I need to do is go ahead and if we want to log out now uh, this has a function called the logout button but I don't want to use the logout button this is using um, you see it's got a form here I don't really want to use that all I want to do is just unset the session ID um, so we can quickly go and press file new and I just want to quickly create a short file it's really not long at all uh, so we'll go in here all we want to do is start the session session underscore start and then all we want to do is press unset uh, session steam ID we just want to unset that and we also want to unset um, the session and it is steam underscore up to date like so and then after we've unset that we can just write header and we can uh, write in here location and we want to send them back to the index.php after we've unset that so now they'll be logged out that's essentially what that file is doing so we can save that put it in steam morph and we'll call that uh, logout and we want to save that as a php file and now in our index file we just want to uh, where I've got this here we just want to locate to the steam or folder forward slash logout dot pa dot php sorry and that should take care of that for us so that should be it and we're going to go ahead and quickly upload the files to the server and show you that um, uh, so you'd want to come into your if you're using like a VPS or something you just want to go into the files uh, and upload it so you see here um, I've got the files here ignore the login that's for a previous tutorial I want to go ahead and upload first of all I'll upload my new index file because that will change a few things and I'll show you it might cause errors yeah it did um, because we don't have the steam or folder so we quickly want to go back new directory uh, go in here steam off upload that quickly go in here and upload the couple of files we got we got logout open id steam morph steam config and user info so we upload that now if we refresh the page you should see the site's gone back to normal i can click login and you see now from at the start of the video i didn't have this um, now this is um, you can change this image here to an image of your choice you can see the guy because we used uh, someone else's little um, files here for the login side of things uh, this is using you can see here he's got the image here so this is where you'll just change it to whatever you like um, so it's fairly simple and you can also change the rectangle and the squares 
Um, again, that is also within the documentation that I'll leave. So once we've done that, I've not got any code for that tick, but yeah, you'll press the button. It will take you over to Steam. Um, apparently my URL has been blocked, but I'm not sure why. You want to just press continue anyway. And you see I'm logged in on a bot account, so I'll sign in. And once that signed me in, you'll see we do have a little error here, but it's meant to display my image there. And I think that is because if we go to the index, if I just leave a little equals there and a little equals there, we should be good. So if I quickly go ahead and re-upload the index, um, I'm not sure if that's just a problem for me. Uh, it might be, it might not be. But if you have the same problem, just go ahead and do that. If I refresh the page, you'll see now I've got uh, my name and my image. And I can drop down and you see I've got the options which you can have here like your profile or your settings and stuff like that um, and then I've got the logout button which you'll see down the bottom left it's relocated me to the logout I can press it and uh, what has happened there oh it's redirected me to the steam off index so for the logout page what I need you to do is if you do a um, like a dot dot and then a forward slash that will take you back a directory because because the logout file was within um, the steamor folder it's looking for index.php in the steamor folder which isn't there so uh, if this doesn't work we can easily fix that but it's not a big problem so I'll just quickly re-upload the logout uh, file and that should hopefully solve our problem so we'll log in like so so there you are we logged in now we're logged in remember we have the ID in the background which you can now use and we can log out and you see there we are we're at the main page we're logged out we can log in again so uh, that's it for the implementing the steam login it's fairly simple the thing people might get confused with is I already had my code, but you should have your code anyway, some sort of website layout that you'll want to impl implement this into. All you really need to do is put a basic if check and check if the session is set um, around like your drop down tab or whatever. And then that's pretty much it. You just need to include these two files and then edit your config. So it's fairly simple to do. Um, I hope you could understand the video. Um, if you did, Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.